So this first topic is going to be about people will leech off of you and then make you seem like the bad guy after cutting them off. And what I mean by this is a lot of people, they want you around around them simply because they see something that they can get off of you or get out of you. They don't want you around because they want to be with you and hang out with you for who you are. They want you around because of what you have and what you can, what you can give them. And when you realize that people are actually leeching off of you, and you cut them off, they will make you seem like you are the bad guy. And it's um, it's very twisted. It's very messed up. It's very, um, it's a very mind-boggling thing to do to people. You know, it, it makes them, it messes them up in the head mentally. You know, it's not like, it doesn't like get to the point to where they get sent to a, um, a an asylum or nothing like that. But like, mentally for a while. It will mess people up in their head. I know. I've uh, I've been there a couple of times, man, and it's, and it's annoying. And then once somebody actually tells you what was going on, you know, and you and you see it, and you're just like, bruh. And then you just don't want to do anything but find that person and beat they, you know, beat their buns. Appreciate, hey, Granny, appreciate for the October. As much love and appreciate it. You already know what we're doing. Shout out to Granny12336 for the Octobers, man. Granny, if you tap in the next live, I'm going to make you a moderator just simply because you're the GOAT. So if you want to be a moderator on my lives, tap into the next one and you will be a GOAT. Anyways, or you are the GOAT and you will be a moderator. Appreciate the follow, Chief. Yeah, see, Granny, I'm going to go ahead and make you a moderator right now just simply because you, you, uh, you're the GOAT. So you are now a new moderator. Y'all already know what to do when you guys are my mods. Just uh, moderate the chat. Make sure nothing goofy happens in here. Anyways, <clears throat> if you give somebody what they want, it will enable them to take and want to want and take more of that. You know, and it has to come a point in time where you say enough is enough, and you can yeah see, like this right here. Go ahead and mute. Bye bye. Bye bye. You're gone. Anyways. When you enable people to take more and more, they will take advantage of that enabling. And uh, there has to come a time where you draw the line and say enough is enough. And you tell them, you know, all right, so we're, you're going to either hang out with me and be around me because you want to be around me because of who I am, or you're going to get gone. You're going to get lost. I'm never going to speak to you again. And if they make the choice to get gone, if they, and if they end up making you out to be the bad guy, they were never your true friend. They didn't care about you. They only cared about what they could get out of you. A true friend and a real brother or sister, whatever the case may be, always have your best interests at heart and always push you to become better at what it is that you're trying to do. You know, they're not going to leech off of you for your money or for your clout or your your car, your house or food or whatever the case may be. You know, kindness. People leech off you for all kinds of different things. And it's... um. It's very despicable when you think about it. People take you for granted for a lot of things. People take a lot of things about you for granted. And once you realize it, you're like, whoa. Because in the moment, you don't realize that that's what they're doing because you don't have anybody on the outside looking in. You know, so when somebody actually tells you that, you know, at first you're like, no, they're not. No, they're not. They're cool. They're just, they're chilling. You know, we're hanging out. But then when you pay attention and you realize that that's actually what they're doing, it hits you. It's like uh, getting hit by a train. You know, you're like, whoa, that, that person was actually right. They really are using me for this and that. And then you got to cut them off. And then it sucks because it's another one of your friends that you lost. But really, they weren't even your friend. They just wanted you around because you they could benefit from you. What do you benefit from it? You don't benefit anything from it at all. You benefit um, your mental health gets drained, your energy gets drained. Your everything, just everything gets drained. Your spiritual energy gets drained. You you lose. You end up losing patience with them too. At, at, um, you end up losing patience with them <clears throat> somewhere down the road. I'm trying to think of the best way to put it. You end up uh, somewhere along the along the line. You end up losing patience with them once you realize that that's what they're doing. You know, and you can try and change somebody as much as you can. But at the end of the day, if that person doesn't want to change, you can't change them at all. And it sucks. It is what it is, you know, but that's just a part of life. You know, uh, people grow up and they grow apart, you know. 
and that's um, probably it's probably gonna tie into my next episode. But yeah, man, people, you gotta, that's why you gotta watch watch out who you have around your circle, you know. <laughs> and I um, I know this because at work earlier, I saw somebody who I used to hang out with, you know, and, and I know he saw me because he looked at me, but we didn't, didn't even say nothing. I didn't say nothing to him. He didn't say nothing to me, you know. And it's only because of the people that we were around that he used to come around, you know. <clears throat> he only he only hung around hung out around me and my brother because of who my brother is, you know. And uh, now that we don't hang out anymore, you know, he's uh, he he. I haven't heard a single thing from him at all. And people eventually will show their true colors in time. <clears throat> And once you realize it, you got to make the choice to cut them off or keep feeding into that uh, leeching energy. If you keep feeding into that leeching energy, you're going to keep enabling them. <clears throat> the more you enable them, the more they take. And the more they take, the less you have and the more drained that you become. And there comes a time where you have to be selfish for yourself to a certain extent, you know. <clears throat> when it comes to your mental health and your energy and your spiritual energy and all that stuff, you have to become selfish because you have to take the time to make sure that your mental health is up <clears throat> and um, is healthy enough to the point where you can function. You know, I've been to the point where I didn't want to do anything at all. You know, all I would do is just go to work and go home and get on the ball. You know, I've talked about it before. That's because my mental health was low because I was stuck in a cycle of depression. <clears throat> you break out of that cycle of depression, you know, you can really bring your mental health up. Yeah, see, mods, get them out of here. Get, bye-bye, bye-bye. Get them out, mods. We don't we don't come up in here with no goofy. You say, no, I ain't playing with your ass. Don't come up in here and play with me. Mods, get them out of here now. There we go. Thank you, Jewel. Bye-bye. Anyways, if you want to be, if you want to go, you can go be Cardi B's toilet somewhere else. I don't We don't do that stuff here. I'm just a goofy. Anyways, you got to make sure that your mental health is up is um, healthy enough and up, you know, so you can function properly because if your mental health is not up, <clears throat> you're not going to be able to do much, you know. And then your anxiety starts taking over, depression starts taking over, um, and all these different things, these different spirits that come to attack you, they start taking over. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then... You start feeling like you lose control of your life. That's why when at a certain point of time, you got to be selfish to make sure that you are giving yourself the maintenance that you need, whether it be mentally, physically, spiritually, or emotionally. You got to give yourself that maintenance. You have to say no sometimes. You know, I don't, don't matter what other people say. If you need to take that time to yourself and build yourself back up, then do it. You know, <clears throat> people are, if any of your friends or your brothers or family members or sisters, whatever the case may be, <clears throat> trying to make you out to be a bad guy for trying to rebuild your mental health and stuff like that, they are not your true friend or brother or sister or family. <clears throat> Appreciate the corn, Granny. I know my voice is going out on me. I need some more water. So, shout out to Granny for sending the corn. Much love and appreciation, family. <clears throat> you already know how it is. But that's gonna that's gonna uh, conclude it for this episode. I'm gonna be back with the next episode in just a minute. <clears throat> if you guys aren't following following yet, make sure y'all tap that follow and the bell button. You know, I got a lot of content that goes out on this platform. Make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mummies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know. Deuces, and I'll be right back.